I misspoke about the new moon yesterday. Apparently it was yesterday morning, so I did everything a little bit late, but oh well. <laughs> um, and I guess it was a fully Taurus um, new moon for the lunar cycle. Anyway, um, so I also wanted to go over my blood um, food sensitivity results. Um, I forgot to do that. So um, I'm sensitive to dairy, eggs, gluten, apples, shrimp, sweet potatoes, cinnamon, and mustard. I thought that was super weird. But um, the dairy I wasn't surprised about, the eggs I wasn't surprised about, the gluten was my suspicion. Um, apples, I was super surprised about apples. Uh, shrimp, I was super surprised about shrimp, and shrimp it was my kind of like go-to cheat meat, so I don't think I'll be doing that anymore if it's going to bother me like that. Uh, sweet potato, that surprised me. Cinnamon, that surprised me. And mustard, surprised me. Anyway, so I'm going to see, can I switch this? No, I don't think I can. What does this do? Oh, that changes the light. Well, darn. Um, so I guess I'm just going to flip this phone over and see <clears throat> and show y'all. Well, let me, let me say what I'm about to do. So I've been wanting to make a video about um, how to ace a Navy advancement exam. And, um, but I did something this last exam cycle because, you know, I was, I've been having difficulties advancing for some reason, but um, that's no here nor there. So, but I decided that I was going to take one for the team and do a little experiment because I like figuring things out. So um, this will be part one of how to pass, how to ace a Navy advancement exam. But um, for now, uh, this will be the, the, um, the quick way to take a test. Basically, you don't have to prepare for this at all. You just have to remember it. Um, and this goes, and these, these two videos that I'm gonna do goes for both, um, it goes for any rate. So let's get on with it. I'm gonna draw out, now this is, this is probably different from the answer sheets. I'm just doing this from memory but I think it's like three big rows and then like a, a partial one. And then I'll just do this. These lines are not even, I'm not an artist, okay? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> one through 10. Okay, let me show y'all. I hope this isn't coming out backwards. I have a feeling it's coming out backwards. I think it is. Darn it. I might have to insert a photo of this after I don't get done explaining it. I probably will. Okay, so you have each each block, one through ten, right? Um, some of the blocks are like shaded. I think it's to help you keep up with like what, like there's a lighter shade and a darker shade. And it's like, and it kind of looks like this. I don't know if you can see it, but okay. So the idea is each column, or I'm sorry, each little block, each little shaded or unshaded block is going to be, um, so this is A, B, or C, and each one is gonna be dominant in one, um, dominant in one particular letter. Now keep in mind, at the end of this, you should have approximately 25% A, 25% B, and 25% C, and 25% D. Um, this has been tested two times by a coworker of mine who doesn't want to make board because he's getting out. So he's giving it to somebody else. Um, and the time before last, he did all C's, scored around a 25. Uh, this last time he did all A's, scored around a 25. So I got to think him. Um, well, this was after, I got to thinking about this after he did all C's. So this, <laughs> uh, this still could have been like, I could have failed this test really bad because you know, it could have been just sees for just sees for that particular reason but this makes me think that the way i did it and the way he did it it's really like this but the thing is and i'm going to get to it you have to cut you have to know your rate somewhat in order for this to work too okay anyway so getting getting back to the, the little blocks each block is going to be dominant in one letter so we'll say the first one is a b and then d and then c and then a Okay, so each one of those are dominant in A, B, C, or D, or A, B, D, C, A. Now, you will never have a B, B, or an A, A. The dominant blocks won't touch each other, so you, you, you'll you never have like this. So, but this last test that I did, um, I had like uh, a C, D, C. Um, so I had like one dominant and then a different one, and then that other one was dominant again. Uh, that can happen. We'll just say this one's A, and then we'll fin finish out. B, 
be um, A, C, D, A, C, B, A. Okay, now, if you look at it and you're thinking, oh crap, I have like a lot of, I have a lot of um, A dominant, um, A dominant blocks, block groups, um, but I don't have that many C's. Well, don't worry about that. Um, because whenever you tally up everything at the end, um, you might have a lot of C's, you might have the majority of C's left of all the other blocks put together that will still get you to 25% of the number of all, 25% of all the questions. Um, okay, so knowing that, what I did was any question, now this is contrary, it's contrary to the part two that I'm gonna do for how to ace the Navy Boy Advancement exam. Um, part two is detailed, like how to no kidding, like you know all of the answers without being confused on anything. Like you're gonna ace that thing because of what you know, because of what you've studied. Now this way, um, I didn't study for this, this last test at all, and I should have, but I wanted to do this experiment. So um, there was a lot of questions. I'm gonna say maybe like 25% of the questions that I just did not know. Um, so, and then there was like a handful of questions where I figured, I thought it was, you know, like, oh, this could be A or B, it's definitely not C and D. Now with those, what I did was um, between, between the 25% of each, um, the 25% of each category, A, B, C, or D, and the, um, the little squares of dominant letters, um, I was able to figure out using those clues what the answer was. Um, so if you come across a question that you don't know, skip it, write down, cause you get scrap pieces of paper, write down on your scrap piece of paper, which question, um, that you skipped and then write down, um, the two answers or the three, basically the ones that you think that are the answer. Now I would suggest to write down the actual answers, not the letters because, um, Navy Advancement Center might see that as, um, like question that if you were cheating or not, because I mean, writing question numbers down and then a, a or B or something like that, like that might be questionable. This way is not cheating. You cannot get in trouble for doing it this way because there's still lots of room for error, you know, and it's all about what you know, because if you don't know a single, if you don't know a single question on this, on this test, and there's like what either, I think there's like 100, I don't know. It's either 125, 150 or 175. I can't remember, but that's a lot of questions. And if you don't know the answer to them, then that's on you. And I don't think this way is cheating at all. So, um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments or, you know, whatever, but I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a picture of this and th I'll probably use this as the thumbnail. Um, yes, I'll, I'll use this picture as the thumbnail. So, um, that's it.